React JS component lifecycle. Welcome to Coding Locker, guys. This is Shankar Shwaryani, and this is a playlist of React tutorial for beginners. And this part is going to be a little critical uh, or crucial because a uh, React component lifecycle is something in what you have to, you know, uh, deal every day in your in your project. So there are actually so many uh, components, uh, you can say methods in the lifecycle, but I'll pick just the creation um, uh, components or the, you can say mounting comp uh, component lifecycle methods in this uh, as a part of this video. And at the same time, I will be doing the practical implementation as well. So if you are continuing with my uh, playlist, then you should be... Uh, uh having this code with yourself that this is the application which we are uh, creating since uh, the start of the playlist that's where we're gonna see the practical implementation of those component lifecycle as well so let's begin at first with the powerpoint uh, slide that what exactly they are and when they get called what should we do there and xyz all those stuff so the first method which gets executed whenever you create your component the constructor one so when it gets called on component creation, then at first constructor executes. So there is something super props you have to call this. We will see uh, again in a some time. So that is where uh, when it gets ca called. The next, what we should do here. So what you should do, you just uh, manipulate or you know actually not manipulate. Actually, you create the states here. So this is something where you can create the state for your components, although you can uh, do it in a different way as well. The way we have been doing so far, but uh, if you want to do on the constructor, you can always do as well. If you are not doing in the constructor, then uh, automatically behind the scenes, React itself cre would create a constructor and you know initialize the state here. So the constructor, this is something just to initialize your states. What we should never do, we should never make HTTP calls. We should never access local storage data. Any any costly operation, anything which you which you think that would that would you know uh, delay your rendering of your component, we should never do. This is just for the uh, what we can say state setup. Now next, what next is next is get derived state from props, and this is something which really rarely used. That's why it comes at top. So when it gets called just after the after the constructor, what we should do here. Uh, generally, as I said, we rarely make use of this uh, type of uh, uh, method, but uh, you can uh, uh, do some sort of state sync with the props if it is required. Sometimes, what you what happens that uh, your state changes and you want to keep that sync in the with the with the props, then you might make use of this uh, get derived state from props and the name states as well. What we should never do again, since we are rarely using, of course, we will not never make use of this for the HTTP calls. What is next? returns jsx what is it render this is something which you should be familiar uh, now about with this because this is the method which we are using since our first part and this is i think 13 or 15 part uh, 14 part I, I part i think we are creating and uh, so this is the render method which we have been using so far what we should do we should prepare and return our jsx we have seen that we are preparing our jsx we have seen that with the employee um, a component we have created then we have uh, you know listed uh, that component uh, we have actually one other component created the home one the class one the functional so what we are doing we are actually preparing our uh, jsx and we are just returning it so that's the job of this render method what we should do uh, should never do http call again set time out, set time out etc we should avoid here again so now you must be guys waiting that ex exactly when i should make a http calls right just wait for a couple of minutes more we'll see that render child a uh, render child is not something a uh, different method actually let's suppose you have a render method in your app.js file we will see practically with the code as well in just a bit let's suppose you have app.js file in what you have rendered two uh, components let's say home component employee component and player component whatever the, whatever the components so this render child would get executed once your render is executing right in the same sequence if you are uh, calling this home one and then the employee and the person one so if these components are a class level of component important thing if they are a class level component then their life cycle hook will begin this home con uh, a component may have uh, what we call the constructor once again it may have uh, uh, what was the uh, render method once again so once they will complete then it will move to the next one and then the next one and at last it will uh, go back to the render the last method so this is uh, how render child component works so if you have n number of child at first all those child components life hooks uh, if this is a class one will be tender now focus here if this is a class one 
so w- one important thing that especially life uh, uh, life cycle of a components uh, happens in the react class level component only not in a functional level majorly time so we we that's why we say if this is a class one that's why we have these number of methods available you will not see those exactly methods available in the functional level component i'm talking about the uh, class level components right now what next is component did mount and this is something for what we were waiting uh this is uh, where you will write your http request and this will uh, call once render is complete and once render child is completed right what we should never do update state uh this is something little tr- tricky that you should not update the state when i say update the state doesn't mean that you should never update it is like in sync manner you should not do maybe with a callback or with a uh, with a with a uh, with the uh with the async one when you have the response then maybe you can update the state but try to avoid this we should not update at least in a sync manner we should not update the state here okay now let's see uh everything with a practical example so let me open my application this is my uh, running application that's the console so you can see this is my app.js and this is a class level of component right and i said only in the class level of component you would get those uh, uh life cycle if i talk about the let me go and go for the employee.js right this is our excuse me functional level of component here we cannot have the same what we say the life cycle components now uh the first one is the constructor as i said at first it has to call the super props otherwise you won't it won't work i have added the console.log app constructor then next is get derived state from props this is the another uh, life cycle method which would get executed after the constructor then we have a component did mount then i have added the console log as well uh, as well so and this is our app dot render method now i have explained that uh, if you have a child component if you are my following my playlist and you must be having the project but not this file i have just created this file just for this demo because i wanted to showcase uh, the sequence of the execution so you can see i have created a class level component player and in the player nothing i am not doing anything else i have just added the life cycle uh, components uh, once again here as well so you can see we have constructor we have get derived state from component uh, component did mount and render so let's see how it how they get scored so let me refresh this and focus on this one let me zoom it a bit okay see we have app constructor let's go to this app constructor as i said the first one would get called app constructor and you know what you should be doing you should be setting the state here so instead of like this uh, you can set your state here this dot state equals to like this right you can do this even if you are not doing this and keeping the code like this the way we were keeping so internally react would automatically create a, com- a constructor uh make use of this super props and initialize this uh state there and when i say initialize it doesn't mean that you start doing set state right this is the method which we have seen that how do we update the state but we use it in the different uh, methods not in the constructor one so that is the place for the constructor that gets called then we have get derived state from props we can see this one who was called then third is app render method now render method is we have here app render method that's the third one now you see we were expecting it to render what we were expecting the uh, component did mount but as i explained that render would at first com- gets complete uh, once it, it gets completed it go actually it goes to the children's one so we have added our children which is a player one so it goes to this player and we have this player constructor we have player constructor then we have player get derived straight from props then we have player render and interestingly at first player component did mount get gets called that means if your internal components are making a, making a http call then the data would get load for those components once all of the child components completed with the life cycle hooks then it comes back to the app.js and we have a call for this app component did mount right so this is how it works if i remove this uh, player from here and if i refresh this let it compile and then i'll refresh it is taking a little bit time let it compile yeah it's done now let me refresh this now you would see app constructor get derived 
app render and straight away we have this component date mount so this is what i uh, wanted to explain you guys uh, with a practical example so this was this was a few uh, methods right there are uh, others at the time of update there are so many actually so we'll uh, take care of those in the next lecture so far thank you for being at uh, uh, coding